sisi tumekuja hapa uh, kwa sababu yale ambayo yalifanyika jana tumetoka kibra kule kibra vile vile kulikwako na mambo kama hiyo hapa na ni njama ya kujaribu kugawanya we, watu wetu kwa msingi ya kikabila na kule vile nabijua uh, kanisa na msikiti zilitaketezwa tulikuwa tunataka kuongea na viongozi wa msikiti na vile vile viongozi wa kanisa kwa mbaya wengine hawakuwa wakati huu hivyo tumeharisha tutaongea na wao ja, kesho sasa tumekuja hapa manake hapa vile vile kulitokea hii tukio mnaiona hapa watu ambao ni kama majangili waliletwa hapa na vile tumesikia waliletwa hapa na malori mabuses na watu hapa wametuambia ya kwamba hao watu sio watu ambao wanaishi katika eneo hii ni wageni kutoka mali nyingine yani kulikuwa na njama ambayo ilipangwa na kuja kuvamia shamba hii na sio tu kufamia lakini kuvamia na kuingia na kunyakua manake tayari tumeona cheti ya miliki ardhi ambayo ilikuwa imeshachapishwa tayari ili watu wakiwa hapa kila mmoja atakuwa ako na cheti yake hii sio kitu ambayo imefanyika kwa njia ya ajali haenge kufanywa jana ni mpango ambayo ilikuwa imepangwa na watu wengine na ukaletwa hapa vile vile sio kama ajali ya polisi haukuweko yote yalikuwa yamepangwa polisi wasikuweko hapa jamaa wakifanya mambo haya maovu haya wakapamia wakakata miti wakachoma vizingine hapa bila mnabiona hiyo haribu yote imepangwa na serikali bwana gachagua na bwana eh, kimani chungwa na bwana ndidi joro juzi walikuwa wanapanga njama ya kuja kuvamia shamba hii na wakasema tu wao ni watoto wa maumau na watavamia wengine wataona cha mtimakuni sasa hii sio kitendo ambayo mtu anaweza kudhani anaweza kufanywa na serikali hii si kitendo cha serikali stendi ya wanyama namna hii sio serikali serikali ina jukumu ya kulinda na kutetea haki ya kila mkenya kumiliki shamba hiyo iko katiba katika sheria zetu na katiba yetu lakini wakati serikali yenyewe ndio ina inafanya njama ya ya kuvamia mashamba ya watu nisha hiyo 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 si serikali wananchi hiyo si serikali hiyo ni serikali ya unyama kama iko serikali hawa jamaa wamefanya kitendo cha unyama kitendo cha ukaidi ambaye mpaka ilaniwe na watu wote atujakuja hapa kwa sababu hii ni shamba ya bwana uhuru kinyata la mwenye shamba hii ni mkenya alafu alipotoka hapa wakaenda tena nyingine katika kiwanda nyingine kule industrial area ambayo tutaenda huko kesho lakini sasa hii inaonyesha ya kwamba tuko katika hali ya hatari katika taifa letu tuko katika hali ya hatari katika taifa letu kwa wa Kenya wao macho shida hizi zote zinakuja kwa sababu ya makosa yote ambayo yalifanyika mwaka jana tunayajua lakini tunasema wa Kenya wako macho sisi tuko na haki ya kutetea haki ya wa Kenya wote na tutatetea wa Kenya wote na haki yao na mali yao hayo ndio mimi ningependa kusema wakati huu let me now say in english we are address an international press conference today but we also said that at the press conference that we are going to come to this scene of crime so this is the scene of crime one of the scenes of crime we've been to kibra another scene of crime there's still another one in industrial area which we will visit tomorrow but several other crimes have been committed uh, in these last few days 
Some of them basically had to respond to the demonstrations which we called as a Zmiu la Umoja. These demonstrations are not criminal acts. They are acts which are allowed by our constitution and also by our laws. And we've tried as much as possible to comply with provisions of the law as a Zmiu la Umoja. Therefore, there should be no excuse whatsoever for somebody to go and invade an individual's property in this manner. We have been told already here by the people who are here that those who came here were transported. They are not residents of this uh, ward or this region constituency. They are foreigners, strangers who have been transported to come here for the purposes of invading this farm and then occupying it. And it must be something that has been planned for a, over a long period of time. The reason is that I have here a printed uh, certificate. It's called North, uh, Northland Settlement Scheme Ownership Certificate. This is to certify that the holder of this certificate so on, so on, so on, so on, so on. The, the, the details are there to, to see. This could not have been done yesterday, or the day, the day for yesterday. It means that this matter was planned a long time ago, and yesterday was just an occasion to invade, and then to give the people these ownership certificates. This is what is going to happen. This is an act of, of, of crime. It's somebody who can conceive an idea of grabbing a land belonging to a Kenyan in this manner cannot be said to be a leader of a government. If this is something that is being done under the auspices of a deputy president of this country, this country must be very sorry indeed. We are being accused of being anarchists. I don't think that and uh, 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 this kind of act can escape anarchism. We ourselves have complied with all the laws of the land. But these people are breaking everything in the book. What they're trying to do here is criminal, which must stand condemned in the strongest terms possible by Azimil Omoja. And we condemn this act. It's also an act of thuggery, an act of hooliganism, and an act which is very primitive indeed. But we want to say also that we are not going to be intimidated by this kind of acts. We will not be diverted. We really feel sorry for the old kind of violations that are happening all over the place. A number of our officials are now being arrested and charged with fictitious charges because of participating in these demonstrations. Some are being charged with anti-terrorism acts, which are all, all fictitious, but it all meant or intended to intimidate us. But we will not be deterred, will not be deterred. Me and my colleagues here, Mazimio, I've come here to see firsthand what has happened to this farm and also to express on behalf of all the other millions of supporters of the Mio that we stand in solidarity with the owners of this land for what has been what has happened here and say that this cannot be, be done in the name of Mau Mau. Mau Mau was a movement for liberation of this country. Mau Mau never fought against fellow Africans. Mau Mau was supposed to liberate this country from the occupation by colonialists who had grabbed our land. That is what it was intended for. So anybody who claims to be a descendant of Mau Mau must be a true, a true Kenyan patriot. You cannot be an anarchist. You cannot promote land grabbing and say that you are a descendant of Mau Mau. Shame on you. Shame, Shame on you. Shame. You are actually a shame to the history of this country. And we therefore 
to time this is the strongest time possible. Nirudia kwa Kiswahili vile nilikuwa nasema. Alikuwa amepangwa na hao watu. Kwa sababu gani nimesema hivyo? Hapa hii mimi nashika hii ni hati miliki ardhi ambayo imechapishwa ambayo ilikuwa ipewe kila moja ambaye alikuwa amekuja hapa ili awe sasa ni mtu ambaye anamiliki ardhi hapa hii certificate haikuchapishwa jana walikuja na hii tiari kama imekuwa imechapishwa vile mnaviona hapa kwa hapa hao watu walikuwa ni mvamizi kamili ya ardhi na tuna tuna thibitisho ya kwamba walikuwa mpango ilipangwa na bwana Rigadi Gachagwa bwana Kimani Chungwa na Ndidi Njoro hao ndio watu ambao walikuwa ndani ya hii njama ya kuvama hii shamba wao wenyewe kila mara kwa mara wanasema ni watoto wa mama wao labda wanaweza kuwa watoto au watukuu lakini mimi nasema sidhani kama mtoto wa mama wao anaweza kushiriki kwa uvamizi na unyakuzi wa mashamba mama wao ilikuwa ni chama ambao ilikuwa inapigania haki ya wananchi wa Kenya ilikuwa nataka wazungu waondoke wachie wa Kenya nchi yao sio kunyakua ardhi kutoka kwa Afrika wenzao kwa hivyo hii ni aibu sana tena wanaheshimu na wanakashifu jina ya mao mao tunasema shetani ashindwe shetani ashindwe tunajua njama yao lakini tunasema kama wanaazimio hao watu hawezi kututisha kamwe atutatishwa tutazidi kupigania haki ya wakenya tutazidi kupigania mambo ya gharama ya maisha ya wakenya tutazidi kupigania mambo ya uchaguzi ili ukweli ijulikane kwa sababu tumesema tunataka sava zifunguliwe tunataka vile vile mambo ya, ya kuundwa kwa tume ya uchaguzi ifanywe kwa njia ambayo inafaa lakini hayo sasa ni tofauti na haya hapa tumesema ingawaje umefanya hii hii sio mwisho tumesema pole kwa wale ambao wameathirika hapa lakini Mungu atakuwa na wao vile vile kule katika industrial area tulifanya namna hiyo kwa kiwanda kingine huko chini tutaenda huko kesho lakini kwa hapa mimi na wenzangu hapa tumesema pole sana kwa wakaji wa hapa kwa yale ambao walifanyika jana shukran na familia ambayo imeza kuathirika na labda simu wao ni upi hasa ikiaminika kwamba ni mali ya familia aliyekuwa rais Uhuru Kenyatta. Sisi alijiongea na bwana Uhuru Kenyatta. Alijikuja hapa kwa sababu ya bwana Uhuru Kenyatta. Sisi tulipata habari ati shamba ilivamiwa hapa. Na watu walikuja hapa watu karibu watu 500 waliletwa hapa na tuliona kwenye runinga moto kitu kitu hapa na tukasema tutakuja na uhuru kinyata ayuko na robi lakini e, tumesema pole kwa kina na jamii yake kwa yale ambayo imefanyika hapa tumesema kuchukua muda muda hata muda yote kutoka jana asubuhi hadi usiku masaa ya kwenda haiwani hakuna askari alikuwa amefika katika hii maeneo sijui kama kuna hisia kwamba kutakuwa na shida hapo baadaye Tunasema askari hawakukuja. Na askari unajua ni watumishi wa, wa umma, watumishi wa serikali. Kama mkubwa wa serikali ndio anahusika. Sasa askari hawezi hawezi kuja. Mwenye umbwa hajatuma umbwa, ashike mwizi. Sasa umbwa na kato. Kwa hivyo mimi sitaki kata kulaumu askari. Na as, ah, askari wakituma wanakuja kwa mfano nasikia leo walikuja kwa sababu jamaa waliona aibu ati ulimwengu yote sasa inalalamika ndio sasa askari wametuma hapa leo lakini kama ingehai kwa ni njama imepangwa na makubwa katika serikali 
jana askari wangekuwa hapa kumbani wamekuja wame wange kubali ya yafanyike lakini vile unavyosema unajua iko kituo ya, ya polisi hapo ndani ya shamba hii jana hawakuko na watu huko kuliambiwa watoke ni kama ile kiwanda kule ndoso leria kituo ya polisi iko kama mita 30 kutoka pale kulikuwa kuna mtu huko jana hiyo yote yalikuwa ni mpango ya hao watu lakini tumesema vile nimesema shetani atashindwa. Na labda inspector general wa polisi Jafet Kome ameweza kuzungumza na amesema uchunguzi umeanzishwa. Una imani na uchunguzi ambao utafanywa na uh, inspector general? Hiyo ni upuzi. Hiyo ni upuzi na ujinga. Eh afikiri wa Kenya ni wajinga sana. Lakini wao ndio walisema tu ujinga leisha Kenya. Tu wajinga waleisha Kenya. Sasa anataka kudanganya nani? Wa Kenya watu wanajua. Eh, Kenya watu wanajua kwa hivyo hiyo hata usiniulize hiyo swali. Asante <laughs> <laughs> sana, shukrani sana kwa muda wako bila shaka ni kinara.